Hi, everybody. Well, if you've been around me very much and you've seen some of my children's messages, you kind of know that I like books. I like to read books. And today, I am going to share with you a storybook that is from a long time ago, like 1962. So you know what that means? That this book... I, that's when I got this book, it was 1962, and it um, means that this book is almost 60 years old. It's not in the best shape because you can see it's kind of falling apart, but I'm going to show you, I'm not going to read this whole storybook to you today, but I'm going to show you a picture from it that I thought kind of might go along with what I wanted to talk with you about today. Now, many of you already know, or if you don't know, we're in a season called Lent, and Lent is, um, involves the 40 days um, before Easter, and this is just a great time to kind of check in with our faith and kind of practice some things that we'd like to um, uh, do that would draw us a little bit closer to God during this time. Well, one of the things that Pastor Lauren's doing with us is he is taking us through a study um, on the Beatitudes. Now, the Beatitudes are some verses that we find in Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 10. Now, Pastor Lauren is teaching us from those verses every week, and some of us are doing a Bible study. I brought my picture of my Bible study book here um, to learn a little bit more about these verses, because these verses are really verses that can kind of help us um, live kind of the way that Jesus wants us to live. Now, I thought maybe... The Beatitudes, in, um, you can look at it in many different versions of the Bible, but today I thought you might enjoy hearing it from a Bible um, translation called The Message. And it's kind of like a modern language to what the verses are saying. So um, it's, it's kind of almost like a paraphrase. So I wanted to read those um, to you. Um, you're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. With less of you, there is more of God and his rule. You're blessed when you feel you've lost what is most dear to you. Only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you. You're blessed when you're content with just who you are. No more, no less. That's the moment you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can't be bought. You're blessed when you've worked up a good appetite for God. He's food and drink and the best meal you'll ever eat. You're blessed when you care. At the moment of being careful, you find yourself cared for. You're blessed when you get your inside world, your mind and your heart put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. You're blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. That's when you discover who you really are and your place in God's family. You're blessed when your commitment to God provokes persecution. The persecution drives you even deeper into God's kingdom. So these verses can help us learn how to live a little bit closer to God. Now, I wanted to show you in my book a picture. And this is kind of a picture that um, I like to think of. And it is um, Jesus welcoming the little children to come unto him. Now, it says here in this um, passage that Jesus liked to have children come to him. He told his helpers, let the children come to me. Never tell them I am too busy to see them. God loves them, everyone, and I love them. Now, you know what? I, I bet you already know this about adults, but, you know, sometimes adults or older people, you know, sometimes we think about things too much. We worry about things too much. And, you know, I know sometimes that you think about what you want to be when you grow up, and um, you know what? 
I want to be like you. Yep, that's right. Jesus is telling us that we need to be like little children in this storybook. He wants us to run, to spend time with him, and he will bless us when we do that. And you guys are so good at that. You guys know how to do that really well. And I want to be more like you. So my challenge to you today is look for someone. Maybe they forgot about running to Jesus and just kind of sitting in his presence. You know, maybe you could look around and find someone who needs to know a little bit more about Jesus' love today. You know, could you help them feel his love you know, what might, let, what might that look like um, for them? Maybe it's giving a hug um, to someone in your family that needs it. You know, maybe mom has had a really long day and she's pretty pooped. Maybe, um, you know, helping her with a chore. That could show Jesus' love. Maybe um, it's brightening dad's day by drawing him a really neat picture and taping it onto the mirror in his bathroom as a surprise. You know, there's lots of ways that we can share the blessings that Jesus gives us through his love. And that's going to be my prayer for you and for me today. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father God, we thank you so much for your love that is just so readily available. All we have to do is spend time with you. So Father, I pray that you would help us to come into your presence like little children to receive your love and then, Father God, to go out and to spread it to those that we meet as we go about our day. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.